Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's video we're going to continue our look at drawing fit anime men. This time we will be looking at the same character we've been drawing but from a side profile so we can kind of see how the body is structured and shaped and just kind of see some of the differences from some of our other tutorials. So like always on a, I am on a super low opacity construction line layer if you're doing this traditionally, just make sure you draw super, super lightly because there's going to be lots of corrections, lots of changes, lots of erasing, and we don't want any of that to show up in the finished piece. So like always, I'm going to draw a circle for our skull. Then I'm going to poke it a little bit out towards the back so it's kind of a very slight oval. That's just because the skull kind of comes back a little bit. So from the front, it'll look a little bit more circular, and from the side, it'll have a slight oval shape. And then, super simple guideline for our jaw. Poke in my nose. And the jaw here. Just kind of bringing the jaw up to this, like, halfway point, and it just connects right to the ear. We'll do some... Uh, face tutorials for male characters later so we'll do more detail and go over this more but for right now we just want a simple placeholder so I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this a little bit I want I'm trying to look at my figures off to the side here and roughly draw this one at the same height it's supposed to be the same character so I want the proportions to be the same um, but just like always we'll kind of walk through what we're doing here so you so you can draw this without needing characters beside him. So, about the distance between the lowest point on our circle and our chin, so roughly like this distance here, is what we will then use to drop in our shoulder line, okay? So the shoulder line will be about a jaw below the chin, from there, we can go ahead and draw in our guideline for the spine. Again, I sound like a broken record every single time we do this part of a tutorial for any of our characters. This is super hard to get right on the first go, so really just try to get the shape that you're looking for, and it's probably going to get changed so much by the time we're done that it will be unrecognizable from what it once was, okay? So, all I'm doing... I'm going to start at the neck, swoop in a little bit, poke out to a slight point around roughly where the shoulder blades will be. It's going to come in and then swoop out to where the glutes would be, okay? So we're going to just build off of this, and this is going to change as it goes. So just try to get that shape in. Don't feel bad if it's way off. It's going to just basically be there to help us balance our character off, okay? So from there... We will go ahead and draw in our ribs. Now, I don't want to make the ribs themselves like thicker than what we would on our less muscular characters because the ribs themselves, though they might get a little bit um, wider from the sides, so there's a bigger frame to build off of. But they're not really gonna like the front of the ribs isn't gonna like come further out at all. Okay, so we want to keep the ribs still a little bit of like a boxy flat shape like this. From there, roughly a head height will be in between where our hip line will be. And then just barely behind the widest section on our ribs, we'll draw in a hip shape. Okay, just something like this. And we'll balance this and change it as needed, but for now it's just a little building block to work off of. So we'll do this. And then from there, we can... We'll just finish constructing the legs here. And we can actually connect to the uh, stomach here. So what we'll do is we'll just add in some ab bumps coming down between them, followed by... The bottom most ab right there just one kind of big muscle right there and then kind of almost following this uh, hip line here 
we'll just have a line here that frames the abs like so. And then what we can do is draw in our legs. So we'll just go pretty much straight down. I already know where the floor is on my character because I have other characters drawn. But what we'll do is roughly around the halfway point, we'll draw in this line for our knees. And then right here, we want basically a jaw height from the floor for our super simple foot. And again, this is not a foot tutorial, so I'm just going to put in a foot shape. I don't really care what it looks like. Do that. Now, just like always, we're going to place the kneecap off the front of this line because the kneecap sits um, over the joint to protect it. So we don't want the knee joint right here. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. We don't want the kneecap right here. This is the joint. This is the kneecap. So what we can do from here is we'll just go ahead and construct the legs. So just like always on our male characters the legs will be thickest kind of just above the knee and then they'll taper back into the kneecap just like so from there we can give pretty generous um, hamstrings here so this is where it kind of gets a little this is where it gets way different from when we draw our female characters okay because notice when our character is looking at us from the front the thickest bar we're going to see is right here. And the character's looking from the back. The thickest bar we're going to see is right here. Okay, And that's because the quad is most dominant from the front. So we're going to see the thickness of our quad. And then even from the back, we're going to see that the hamstring does actually have some thickness up just below the glute. But we're still going to mostly see that the quad's hanging off to the side. When you're looking at a built man from the side there's still going to be this portion here that's really thick, but that's because the quad is what is thick right here. The hamstrings connecting to the glutes, all of the mass of the hamstring is pretty much right here. Okay, So this is where, the for the first time in really any of our tutorials, it's not just as simple as, oh, the leg is you know thickest right there, and just connect it. Or on our female char characters, you know the thighs are always going to be pretty much at the thickest right below um, the hips and stuff for the first time we've got the thickest point of the quad here and we've got the thickest point of the hamstring here okay and you can exaggerate either of those as needed depending on how well built your character is and then we can show some definition here like so so the outer head of the quad is connecting down here and then it kind of has a little bit of definition here for where the hamstring's kind of poking in. We'll do that. We'll draw our kneecap. Again, it's not right in the center here. It's just going to be off the front. I'm drawing a swoop. So I'm drawing in a line like this for all the tendons of the calf. And we'll give super generous calves here that then taper down here. And we don't want the ankle here to be super, super thin. And then we'll do this like so and what i like to do is that there's actually a little bit of muscle weighing on the front of the shin here and so what you want to do the more built your character gets you don't want just a swooping line like that like what we normally do you kind of want a bump into a swoop but the bump is so slight that it's barely noticeable so just kind of mess with it till you have a super tiny little bump there before it then tapers into the uh, ankles okay like that from there we can build in our glutes and again this is a well-built character but he's not going to be super cheeked up like when we draw our female characters so again we kind of want that kind of flat boxy shape with a little bit of roundness right so it's going to kind of round here at the base but it's not going to be shaped like our female character. Well, that's kind of crazy, but it's not going to be shaped like our female characters that are a little bit more coming straight off and then really checking up at the base. It's going to kind of poke out, have a little bit of flatness there because he's low body fat, and then it'll kind of poke in like that, okay? From there, we'll add our shoulder circle just kind of off the back of the spine, and that's because the bigger that his shoulder is, the less we're going to be able to see 
his spine from the side. Okay, so he's got well-built shoulders, and so because of that, that's just going to be covered up, okay? From there, though, we can still follow the top of the shoulder into our collarbone, and then connect the neck almost right up so that it follows along the ribs, okay? If we want to adjust the thickness of the neck, we can do so, but we'll do it from the back, not from the front, because this has to basically come up even with the ribs. So we'll add this, we'll add a little Adam's apple there. From there, we can kind of adjust this, so kind of connecting right, not right off the back of the shoulder, but just off, just left of the center of the shoulder here. We're going to add in a line here for the trap, and then it will taper off into the neck like so. From there, I'm going to just push his arm back here, getting my sort of elbow socket about even with my ribs here with like the bottom of them. And then this wrist joint I want pretty much just below where the hips would be. On this particular figure though, my hip line for the base of the hips is higher than from these perspectives. So that's why I'm not bringing his wrist joint all the way below them. From there, we're gonna follow this the front delt because the delt has three heads. It's got the middle head here, then it's got a front head here, and it's got a really little head here for the rear delt, okay? So we're gonna kinda have a rounded shape here that then tapers off into the bicep. So for this character, again, he's well built, but he's not super ultra muscular that he's got like insane muscle caps, which is basically just the peaks of the muscle. So we're gonna stretch the bicep and then taper it into the joint, kinda like that. For the tricep here, from this angle, really all you're gonna see is the short head of the tricep, which kinda runs on the outside. So we'll kinda poke it in like so, and then give a generous forearm bump here on the inside and a slightly less generous one on the outside, okay? Because from this angle, this is gonna be the dominant head of the forearm because it connects to the bicep and helps it with curls and stuff. So it's gonna have a lot of uh, muscle gains from doing that. Whereas this portion here is basically almost, almost exclusively just for like your grip strength. So it's not gonna be super big in comparison to this other side. So we'll do that from there. Just give him a very simple hand, not a hand tutorial, so I don't care what those look like. Then from there, we'll just construct our spine the way that we want it. And then we can add in some little bumps here. So this is kind of where the lats are. They're kind of hidden by the arm that's poked back here. But it'd be something like that. And just adjust this as needed. You can even bring the glutes out a little bit more if you want. And then from here, now an interesting thing is that as a man's chest develops, as they're you know doing bench press and they're working on it, there's three different heads to the pec. There is the upper pec, the sort of middle of the pec, and then the lower pec, okay? And so the more and more our character gets built, unlike on our female characters where you know, we draw our little shoulder lines where their breasts then hang off of. On our male characters, the bit, like if you build up your upper chest enough, it almost connects straight up to the uh, collarbone. So what we want to do is basically just off of the collar, come off with our chest shape like this, okay? And we want him to have a defined chest. We don't want his chest huge though and then we can follow it up like so, okay? So we basically want a shape like this, okay? Because it's gonna kind of taper right here. The thickest part of the chest is gonna basically be right there. So we'll do that. 
and then from there you can adjust as needed like my jaw is a little tucked in so I'm just gonna rotate it out a little bit just so it doesn't look like he's got smacked in the face by a baseball bat there we go the jaw is fixed now and my character needs to lean forward slightly there we go now he looks like he's actually supporting weight and then I'm just gonna move him off the side just a little bit so he's not crowding my other ones okay so now I'll just run through the line art real quick again I'm not concerned about the quality of my line art or anything I'm just doing this quickly um, so I like to just start with the shoulder into the collar into the tri or trap then we can draw our ear into our super simple jaw like so and I'm just kind of keeping a lot of these on the same line that doesn't really matter but oops trying to get a slight slight oval shape there and you just want it to be very slight so it's more of it's a it's like 90% circle and 10% oval then connect our neck like so then our chest muscle like so short head of the tricep bicep you can have some definition through there if you want then we can connect to these you can even show the socket here along with the larger of the forearm heads through there and we can put in our hand like so just a super simple hand don't care what it looks like we can have some lats poking through we'll draw kind of where the base of this um, rib cage is where it opens up so here depending on how low the body fat is you could see some ribs poking through but the more muscular your male characters get there's actually little muscles right here that run along them and so it's not that you're necessarily seeing pokes of like rib cages but there's little muscles that run through there that you're gonna see so those little bumps um will pro most likely be little muscle bumps but they're not going to be super defined from there we'll go ahead and draw the glutes just kind of like a flattened circular shape like that into the lower back like so into the hip area add our abs like this from there again the thickest point of the hamstring is just below the glute and then the thickest point of the quad is just above the knee have some separation there pop in our kneecap in front of the center point of our leg add a super tiny bump followed by a you know shape like this we want to kind of to taper off into the ankle super generous um, calf muscle I'll give him a slightly bigger foot there we go and yeah there we go um typically i would just take a step away and make sure that everything is um correct and like symmetrical and stuff but upon looking at it, it looks pretty much what i want so just quick review again the more muscular characters get it's going to just kind of barely change the way that their overall shape of the spine is going to look because as we get bigger and bigger muscles some of those muscles are going to overtake what you can see of the spine so on this character who is muscular but he's not so jacked that it's like getting kind of crazy <laughs> around the spine area so for right now he's going to have kind of just a regular spine like what we did on our previous uh, male tutorial um, giving him some really defined abs though and depending on how low body fat you want your character will kind of determine how deep these sections are in between the abs 
the lower the fat, then the deeper that those little etches can be. Um, the chest, you can basically darn near ride it right off the collarbone. There's nothing wrong with that. As the upper chest gets built, it almost just connects straight to it anyways. So you can ride it off the front like that. Um, and yeah, and then again, just remember the hamstring is thickest here, and then the quad is thickest just above the knee. So it gives the leg a unique shape compared to some of our other characters. And I mean, that pretty much does it. So hopefully you found this one helpful. And I'll see you in the next one where we should be looking at super jacked characters. So I will see you there.